Welcome to Bitcoin Stuff. This episode is on confusion and why you shouldn't try to protect investors from their own ignorance. And I'm talking about this because this topic came up a lot at the conference I went to recently, which was HPCC 17, the Hackers Congress. Probably the best Bitcoin conference I've ever been to, by the way. I had a great time, I had lots of great conversations, and I have lots of new material to talk about, and confusion came up a lot. People are worried about all of the new branches of Bitcoin that are going to come out soon. And they're worried about newbies being confused. Okay, so stop worrying about that. First of all, confusion is fine. You don't need people to understand things in order for capitalism to work. The best value still tends to win out. In capitalism, you're just like, do random things. Ah, that one made a little more profit. So now I'm going to do stuff kind of like that in the future. And if everybody behaves that way, we're all connected together in a big machine uh, by the flow of profits. And nobody has to understand how the machine works. Okay? Capitalism traps you in a big machine, whether you understand it or not. So confusion is fine. Um, and to, to me, if you are worried about confused people... That is uh, concern trolling, okay? Because what ultimately happens is you, you, if you want to protect people from ignorance, that means you have to control them, okay? If you don't want people to learn, uh, you have to tell them what to do, okay? And that is a way to control them and to benefit off of them. So confusion just means people are learning. That's all it means. And if you're worried about confused people, I see that as a, a way of a, an attempt to control them. You may not see it that way, but that is what will happen. Okay. Um, you cannot protect people from their own ignorance in the long term anyway. Okay. If you do, you create systematic risk. What that means is lots of people are doing the same dumb thing together. And if they're being protected, that means when the risk finally happens, it's a lot worse than if they had just been making mistakes all along and learning as they went. Okay, Because you, you have a really big problem rather than a bunch of little ones that eventually uh, get solved. Um, so life isn't fair, confusion is fine, and protecting people from ignorance is a way of exploiting them. Now, here is another problem with worrying about confused people. Some people benefit from confusion, okay? And if you're just worried about the confused people, then the people who like confusion, they don't get what they want, okay? And there's nothing wrong with benefiting from confusion, okay? That, that just means you're a good investor. That just means you know more than other people. And by the way, everybody is ignorant in Bitcoin, right? Everybody is ignorant and everybody is confused. Some people know more than others, but Everybody is constantly learning in Bitcoin. And uh, even the most experienced people can be caught unaware. And that's kind of what happened recently, right? Because forks may have seemed like an esoteric topic a couple years ago, but now we know they're important and people need to know about them. Now, uh, Alex Miller recently gave me a really great compliment on his YouTube channel. And he said that I was like the anti-FUD in Bitcoin, which really, I mean, can you think of anything greater than that? Um, and, and of course, I would like it if nobody was confused. I would like it if people basically understood what was going on. Uh, I, and I think that would be better for everybody, including me. But if I am not confused and everybody else is confused, that is still relatively better for me. So I'm certainly not going to back down on my investment strategy just because it's going to confuse people. I'd say figure it out. Okay. If, if my strategy is confusing to people, 
you have to learn how it works and then you won't be confused anymore so i got into arguments with people at the conference about forks that don't implement replay protection and uh they would say that it's it's unethical and it's evil uh for somebody to fork bitcoin without replay protection well totally unrealistic and unproductive because you're just you're just worried about the confused people and you're completely ignoring the not confused people and the the not confused people want to make more money right so you can't just say don't make a good investment just cuz it's confusing that you know that doesn't that is totally unhelpful in general a big problem that i have with the core side of the conflict in bitcoin going on right now is they're too focused on uh worrying about stupid new investors and they're not focused on pleasing old smart investors in fact they seem like they're afraid of them uh, i don't like that at all uh, you have to worry about the smart old investors first have to make sure those guys are happy then worry about the dumb new investors okay